Siren Introduction The Siren is the ultimate male fantasy figure. Her presence and general behavior is sexually charged, and this makes a man feel like he is being transported to another world. She is dangerous, and men who pursue this type of woman often fall in love quickly and lose control of themselves in the pursuit. Most women in modern society are too timid to project such an image, so the siren stands out from other women, and it is this rare quality that makes her seductive powers that much more interesting. Historical context. In the year 48 BC, Ptolemy XIV of Egypt deposed and exiled his sister and wife, Queen Cleopatra. He strengthened his borders and ruled the country on his own. Later that year, Julius Caesar came to Alexandria to ensure that Egypt would remain loyal to Rome. One night, during a meeting with Caesar's generals in a palace discussing battle strategy, a guard came to inform him that a Greek merchant was at the door with a large gift. Caesar allowed him to enter. The merchant came in with a rolled up carpet on his shoulders. He undid the rope around the bundle and unfurled it. Inside the carpet was young Cleopatra, only 21 years at the time, half clothed, and she rose up from the floor and presented herself before Caesar and his guests. Caesar and his guests were dazzled by the sight of the beautiful young queen. They admired her boldness, and this enchanted Caesar more than anyone. Dio Cassius, the Roman writer, said, Cleopatra was in the prime of her life. She had a delightful voice which could not fail to cast a spell over all who heard it. Such was the charm of her person and her speech that they drew the coldest and most determined misogynist into her toils. Caesar was spellbound as soon as he set eyes on her, and she opened her mouth to speak. It is believed that that same evening, Cleopatra became Caesar's lover. Many women had tried to cast a spell on Caesar, but he was quickly bored of their attempts, and he went back to his passions of war and political intrigue. It was Cleopatra that had a different kind of spell on him than the others. One night, Cleopatra would tell Caesar how one day they would revive the glory days of Alexander the Great and rule the world like gods. Next, she would entertain him, dress like the goddess Isis and surround herself with the opulence of her court. Cleopatra provided Caesar with challenges, turning cold or angry the moment he felt secure with her. Caesar would find ways to try to regain her favor. Keys to the character. The Siren is the most ancient seductress of them all. She combines mythic goddess-like qualities mixed with dangerous sexual charge. She penetrates deep into the male psyche very quickly, offering a wealth of fantasies and pleasure. Men whose natural aggressive instincts have become suppressed in this safe and secure society that we now live in, are more vulnerable to the seductive charms of the siren than ever before. The siren has the power to transform a strong and responsible male into a pathetic, needy slave. She preys on rigid masculine men, especially the alpha males of course, but also political figures and intellectuals. He who lacks the experience of pure physical pleasure is the most susceptible to the siren. The siren is confident, theatrical, challenging, sees herself as the prize, and is deeply erotic. She must stand out from others, but there are two other critical qualities she must possess. The ability to get men to chase her passionately, and the ability to add the sense of danger. Danger is critical in seduction, as men need this excitement in their deeply repressed and rational lives. Men often follow a straight path in life, 
and it is this distraction-free reality that men live in that makes them all the more susceptible to the danger and excitement offered by the siren. Deep down, the rational man wants to experience something dangerous and emotional. This danger is like a drug for a man. He cannot seem to quit his thirst for danger, and it can ruin him. Her sudden shifts of mood playing hot and cold keep him off balance, yet all the more addicted still to her magical spell. The siren's main power derives from the physical, the weakness of a man. Scent, heightened femininity evoked through makeup or through elaborate or seductive clothing, bypass a man's conscious awareness because they have no meaning. Make no mistake, however, the facial beauty of a woman is not the main strength of a siren. Being too beautiful is too distant and cold. Instead, a generalized beauty creates an alluring and distracting impression. It is not just one particular trait, but the combination of many. A seductive voice. The siren must have an insinuating voice that hints at something sexual, but so subtly that it barely registers. Her voice must be calm, unhurried and low, as if she never quite woken up or left her bed. Her body. The seductive voice by itself is not enough to fully seduce a man, for he will disregard her voice as a figment of his imagination. The siren must also dazzle with her clothes and represent something of a goddess, a woman who rises above the rest worthy of being worshipped. All aspects of her visual appeal must mix harmoniously and no single ornament must stand out. The clothing must hint subtly at sexuality, and not overtly. Being too sexual gives the game away. If she seems to be trying too hard to sexually seduce a man, the man will know what the game is. She must hint at sexuality, making him feel as if his sexual thoughts were coming entirely from his own imagination and his own accord, rather than from her promiscuous advances. Movement. The siren must be graceful and unhurried in her movements. Her gestures, movement and demeanor hint at something excitingly sexual without appearing obvious. Her air must be languorous, seeming to have all the time in the world for pleasure. Subtle hints at something erotic and ambiguous penetrate and seduce the man's psyche more effectively than obvious, vulgar and direct expressions of desire.